Hey Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So exciting to have you here. Thank you for joining. Um, let's take a nice deep breath together. Let's connect in our heart space. There we go. Release with peace, with peace, with love, and letting go of that which no longer serves us in a positive way. I want to give you some spray. I want to give me some spray. I'm going to space some spray. This is Palo Santo um, and Rosemary, as well as um, Citrine Crystals. This is your 25 to 31 May um, general reading or whenever you really look at it um, angel tarot reading so we're using all kind of angelly thingies over here today we've got this angel tarot deck and then we're gonna end off your reading with an angel daily oracle motivational card okay see what the angels have got to say for you you beautiful beautiful soul all right i remember i had quite an incredible reading for you i don't feel this card okay sure no worries i remember i had a very incredible reading for you last week okay two okay what are they i'm not gonna look <laughs> um what about love so it seems like things are going in a very positive direction there so if you are interested in love then Go and have a look at that reading, all right? You are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got a reading coming up for you every week, Virgo. It comes out at on a Thursday. Um, so subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Um, this is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending. Or just really if you come across it, it's right for you as well. Okay. And, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. There's some sort of story here with like, I don't know, you know, I really want to get to the bottom of this because this is beginning to intrigue me more and more and more. Um, it's like somehow you either have, um, when it comes to love, there's either something going on here with, um, with a Gemini or with another Virgo um, who is so different from who you are, yet so the same. It's 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 sort of annoying, <laughs> okay? Um, or a very, how do I put this, spiritually enlightened water sign, okay? Um, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer, and again, I'm getting a tendency more towards Cancer and um, possibly Scorpio, but more Pisces, all right? And somehow there seems to be a Sagittarius involved in the mix. Hmm. Interesting. So you, I like where you are at the moment though. I do like where you are at the moment. You see, I got so excited by that. I even forgot that I wanted to draw for you a, <laughs> a card just for your, um, your overall energy, your daily motivation to see where you are. Keep going forward. Okay, this is like one of those things like in life ascending mountains, you know, if you're going through a difficult period, uh, like, you know, like those little memes that you get if you're going through hell, best you just keep on walking. So, and I don't really feel that you are going through the deepest, darkest bits of hell. Maybe you have, but you, you kind of move past that energy, but it's like, um, there's still some thoughts that you need to get through some, some, um, you know what I feel is, is kind of tripping you up a little bit, Virgo? It is, it is almost as if there are, um, that you know what are the right decisions for you, okay? Um, it's like the heart wants what it wants type of thing, you know? But the logical mind is going like, I should wait, I should play the safe, I really shouldn't do it. How much longer do you want to wait? How much longer do you want to wait? All right. Um, I like this energy where you are at the moment. You, it's almost like the, um, like when you feel a little backed up into a corner, it's like you decided that you're going to move out of this corner. So it's almost sort of as if, think of a gas stove, you know, you can put it on a small little flame where you can really turn it up, uh, open, you know, and there's a real sort of um, fire there. So I feel that 
it's almost like you made this very conscientious sort of decision that you're going to move from this. You're not going to stay here. You're not going to do this. You're going to do something about this. It's, you're very committed to um, expanding your experience of life. And it is, it's like you're unlocking all this magic that has been inside you. Um, for many of you, you might have been very careful there for a little while, um, you know, not to go at it too much. But um, it's almost like you're done with playing it safe. You're sort of fed up of that. <laughs> You know, um, but you're shining up like a light in the dark. I'm going to show you the cards that I have for you for your angel tarot cards. It says two of earth. How beautiful is that card? Eh? Look at that fairy just going there for magic, unlocking magic. Eight of air. The lovers. This is what got me so intrigued. And next to the star with Jophiel, Archangel Jophiel, which is nothing like the Jophiel in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Um, for those of you that watch Game of Thrones, so it says, um, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. There we go. Um, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. Okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with consulting others, but um, I want to encourage you to to to. Um, consult more the wisdom of your own heart because you are wise okay and of course as always this is a general reading so whatever resonates with you resonates with you and whatever doesn't resonate with you you just release it with peace and love and you let it go okay um, intimate relationship relationships carefully weigh your decisions good health fantastic so if some of you might have been struggling with us it might be improving Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. I feel that for some of you, um, and my same-sex readings are only tomorrow, but for some of you, it is like, um, when it comes to love, things are a little bit unconventional. So it's like, it doesn't always make 100% um, sense on paper to everybody else, all right? Um, so this could be a same-sex situation, maybe different nationalities, different backgrounds, different financial backgrounds. Um, so on the outside, uh, or maybe you, you know, you're both still kind of working on polishing yourself. So on the outside, the match doesn't really seem like the wisest of choices. Okay, but remember, when you follow the GPS of your heart, you can't go wrong. Oh, so exciting! Wow. Okay. So, with this new path, this new way that you want to, that, that it's it's almost like you've got a tingling excitement inside yourself. Um, it could be like a small child that realizes I can do this and I can do that, you know. Um, uh, like for example, I'm not comparing you to a dog, but I used to have a husky, and um, this one day somebody came to my house, a friend of mine, and he said to me, "Hey, you know, um, Mike is running around on." the field on the like the grass patch the park across from the house and I'm like that's possible he's inside you know um, he's in the backyard so somehow he maneuvered it was the most amazing thing ever um, sort of like duck the soil out underneath the fence like the hedge and but then push it back again so I wouldn't see what he was doing until one day he came out lifted the lever of the gate and actually got out all right and nothing in this world could stop the excitement of that dog he looked at me and it was so smart it was like i fooled you i got this i fooled you <laughs> okay um but and i'm not talking about deception or deceit here for you um Virgo, because that's not who you are but you know all uh, but i'm going to put it to you straight the hurt the disappointment all those things in the past that didn't work out okay it's time to embrace those lessons, to embrace those situations, to forgive what you need to forgive, to let the past go, okay? Because this magic over here, and if you're going to still be focused on the past, on the hurts and pain, yeah, I'm not saying that you must not feel and acknowledge what's there, but what I'm saying is you can respect what's there, but it's also respectfully time for you to move away from that. Okay, to bless them with love, to bless them with light, to bless the situation, whatever it is, and move forward in your magic. You've been held back by uh, 
those that didn't have almost like your best interests at heart, maybe based on whatever their plans in life might have been as well. But it's like you've been held back by other people's um, soul contracts so long that, that you didn't fully unlock the magic of you. But now it's time for you to do that. All right. It's time for you to move into everything. Okay. It's all available to you right now. Life is saying to you, listen, here's the buffet and what would you like to eat? Hmm. <laughs> so Korea, this is amazing. This is a career and a love reading in one. Hmm. Wow. Um, when it comes to that love, what is the thing that makes your heart smile inside? You know that it's you, you know that this is for you. It's been for you for a very long time. Okay. Hmm. Even if you're inside a relationship or a marriage, this is a decision that you needed to make. And it's good because those things that you're worried about that it might not work out and other people might criticize and stuff like that, the parts are laying open for you. It's all working out. Beautiful times to get. Look at this. Look at how it ends off with the star there and the four. The, the universe is supporting you all the way. All right. The very thing that you might have been running away from you, some of you possibly for years, the very thing that you've been running away from, um, denying yourself, convincing yourself it's not for you, it's not in your best interest, this is not for you, is actually the very thing that your heart has been seeking all along. And it's, it's almost in a space of, I feel that you might have been keeping yourself very busy. So even, <clears throat> sorry, if you and this person might have at some point had a bit of a fling or some feelings, um, you know, um, it's, whenever it gets too close, you kind of pull away, you know, and it's like you might be a little bit suspicious of the actions all the time. Um, hmm. I feel that at some point they might have actually spoken their feelings or emotions or their thoughts and you were like, no, let's shut the door. <laughs> But now you're the one who wants to open it again, but there's a bit of doubt and there's some fear inside of you. I really feel that you don't have to worry. I feel that the same as I had in the other readings, and you can also always look back, I feel that, um, that this person really gets you. Okay, And it's almost like even when this person tries to get with someone else, it somehow doesn't work out. And you don't want to take joy in the fact that it doesn't work out with someone else. But you do get a little bit of a, you know, happy penguin dance there in sick. You go like, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes. All right. But now the way things are, you're on the stage, the curtain's opening. And the love is in front of you. What are you going to do right now? Okay. Let's see what your two angel cards are since you got two. Time to go and listen. This is amazing. I keep on, you know, I keep on shuffling and, and like obviously clearing the cards and everything in between readings. But it's like I get the same things. Um, time to go. I also got for, for Taurus. So maybe go and have a look at that. Hmm, interesting. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day as it's the same with the avenues in your life okay see the beauty within each sunset in your life so what you let go those lessons are learned you know bless the path and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow okay life is not going to take away from you and give you nothing back okay it it takes so to speak because you it gives you a little nudge for you to move into the, the next beautiful step that's that's uniquely for you Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we the angels are with you through each phase and cycle. You are not alone. Ow. We are here with you. <laughs> right, listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation because you are curious a little peanut you like to be surprised okay a quiet mind and body hears us the angels quickly and clearly this is our request to join you listen listen you know there's this one singer in south africa um her name is nia nell n-i-a-n-e-l-l -L, and she's got the song um i think it's called listen Listen, can you hear it? 
There's an angel whispering your name. A new life has begun now. And my love for you will stay the same. Okay, no. Etc. <laughs> but yeah, as I said to you early on, keep going forward. And your daily motivational card, be true to yourself. You've been trying, many of you, to be like a different version of you for so long, lesser, more. None of that rubbish worked. So be beautiful, you. Let, let your unique light, the magic that you incarnated into this world, that light, unique light that you came with, it's time for that light to shine. The world needs that. Okay, you may not ever understand what's going on in their life, but you can always figure out what's going on in yours. Tell you all the universe. <laughs> so, oh, beautiful. Things are really coming together for you, huh? Career wise, love wise, because you see, you, you, you've got that infusion of energy that's always been inside you. you it's like you open the lid and it goes like ta da. All right, beautiful. On a love and respect you, Virgo. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy, your love and your light. All right. I will see you next week. Remember, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to have your, you know, your weekly reading. I'm always here every week. Um, book a personal detailed reading, 12 US dollars for 30 minutes downloadable reading. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Let us follow each other into the light.